Commonwealth his leadership has created could be threatened by the strangers who just landed on his shores. McCoy's warriors escort Captain James Cook back to the village. This is Cook's third voyage around the world, and he just became the first European to set foot on Moachart soil. Much is riding on the British explorers meeting with the chief. Cook wants to sail further inland in search of precious resources. But there is no guarantee he and his men will be welcome. Klausish Maquina Machinowich. Rather than hostility, Maquina greets his guests with generosity in the form of lavish feasts.
On this night, Cook encounters a new kind of fur. Warm and waterproof, a single sea otter pelt will fetch the equivalent of 10,000 pounds and become known as soft gold back in Britain. Cook will strike a deal with McQuinna and leave Nootka Sound with hundreds of pelts, marking the beginning of the Moachot's lucrative trade with the Europeans. McQuinna will become the gatekeeper of Nootka Sound, controlling the sea otter fur trade as countless vessels set sail from Europe. His leadership and diplomacy protect Nootka Sound as a free port until the mid-19th century. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.